Hello everyone. I'm Yuria Suda from Hitachi Hightech Corporation and I'm belonging to Digital Transformation Business Group. I have been mainly working on SAP related product since ECC 6.0 and now for SAP S4 HANA Cloud and SAP BTP. And I have been in charge of since implementation project through operational support after go live to our group companies in Japan and overseas. This time, I am very pleased to have an opportunity to introduce our experience and challenges of side-by-side -side development on SAP Business Technology Platform in Hitachi Hitech. It is crucial architecture model for our digital transformation project. First, let me briefly introduce our company. Again, we are Hitachi Hitech, based on Tokyo in Japan. The corporate vision of Hitachi Hitech is to simplify our customers' high-tech processes. Then our mission is to help our customers be fast-moving and successful cutting-edge businesses based on our core technologies, observation, measurement, and analysis. In particular, as you can see in the slide, we have four business segments. One of our main product is CDSM, which is a dedicated system for measuring the dimensions of the fine patterns of the semiconductor wafer. And we continue to keep a top share about 70% in the global market. In addition to this, there are also the major products, blood analyzers, immunodiagnostic analyzers, etc., and also these core technologies apply to the semiconductor manufacturing equipment and so on. This is a global network of Hitachi Hitech. We offer a variety of products and services in 25 countries and regions around the world. One of the characteristics of our products is that a single piece of equipment may contain as many as 50,000 parts. We deliver it in worldwide and we need to comply with each country's laws and regulations, such as FDA, substance content, export control, etc. We design our products to reflect the concept and request from each customer, and then manufacture, sell, and provide after maintenance services from end to end. Next, I would like to talk about a company-wide DX project that led to utilize the SAP Business Technology Platform. In 2018, we have started the DX project as business transformation project. This was also the timing to consider migrating our SAP ECC to SAP S4 HANA, but it was not the IT project. We pursued how to simplify our business processes, how to digitalize our management in order to create a new business processes which realize next 10 year growth strategy. In terms of our previous core systems, we implemented SAP's ECC for all of our companies about 20 years ago. In order to support four business segments, we continued to develop add-ons on ECC itself. It accumulated about 9,000 custom objects in total for 20 years, such as user exit, appends, tables, report programs, system interfaces, and so on. It was so complicated and deteriorated in our ACC, then it affected to increase in operating expenses, to make slow response to our te new technology, and it prevented us to adapt rapid change. How we proceed business process reform in DX project is as follows. Previously, we performed fit to gap approach to cover the gap with custom add-ons to meet the business requirements. On the other hand, the new approach is fit to standard. We discussed how to fit our business process to SAP standard as much as possible and try to reduce system add-on minimum by going through add-on deliberations with upper management. We run this cycle again and again. And also we changed our mind in company-wise that from system is what you make and uh, into system is what you use. This is a DX project go-live status. We adapted S4HANA two-tier model. 
And S4 HANA Cloud Private IED Edition is in production in headquarter, some manufacturing site, and group companies in Japan. And also S4 HANA Cloud Public Edition is in live in 10 overseas countries already. United States, Europe, Korea, Taiwan, and ASEAN region. And project is still ongoing right now. Then, here was the main part. Side-by-side -side development approach on SAP PTP in Hitachi Hitech. In 2019, it had started the realization phase of our DX project, and we considered the following for our new platform. As a DX project architecture strategy, first, to keep SAP S4 HANA clean and promote side-by-side -side development in order to update the system constantly and obtain continuous innovation from them. And second, new platforms should enable DX phased approach with flexible combinations of cloud service, on-prem, legacy, and new systems in DX transition period because it is impossible to launch every new system at the same time. And also, at the IT trends point of view, third, to adapt open source. We try to transit from ABAP-based uh, to open source, like Java, JavaScript-based programs, and also make system interfaces with RESTful API. And fourth, microservicing. We developed so many add-ons on ECC itself, but wanted to transit from this monolithic system to microservicing. The approach is combining small services and build one big application. Then we decided SAP BTP, the one makes them realized. Next, uh, we defined add-on development policy. Classified add-on types at first, and basically in SAP S4 HANA, we only allowed key user extension functionality and for field extensions or custom tables, which is officially announced, not affected by future upgrades. And regarding value proposal or check logics, we developed only authorized ones by strict add-on council so far. And it is also allowed for us to develop custom all data API and CDS, which is needed for side-by-side -side development on SAP BTP. For the other add-ons types, such as validation type, add-on programs including subsystem interfaces, custom screens are developed on SAP BTP. This is our basic configuration of SAP BTP add-ons for SAP S4 HANA Cloud. The purpose of our SAP BTP applications are basically to make updates into S4 HANA or to extract business data from S4 HANA. In terms of SAP BTP applications, based on multi-target application, so-called MTA project per development item provided a standard template on BTP and coded with SAP UI5 and Java basis. We also utilized SAP HANA Cloud as custom data tables on BTP. And regarding integration with SAP 4 HANA Cloud, both private and public edition, unified all cases into REST integration with all data-based APIs. Actually, uh, previously our system integration with SAP ECC was based on BAPI, but BAPI requires SAP dedicated adapter in posing system side. But only all data API is allowed in S4 HANA Cloud Public Edition, so actually no choice of BAPI in public cloud. And also, uh, we believed all data API CDS can be expand the capabilities much more eventually. For example, even another subsystems or front tools gets popular in the future, same API might be utilized for input or extract data in S4 HANA. These are the reasons behind for this basic concept. Actually, uh, this concept goes well already. We have several add-on patterns such as a user interface with online program, background process with a job triggered, system integration with several subsystems, and process automation by robot. We are unified as for HANA interface with all data API bases, and we could expand the usage of multiple services easily and quickly. This is an innovation point which we feel. These are the services which we implemented so far. Portal for UI related, implemented some application with using development tools, such as application runtime with SAP UI5 and Java-based programs, SAP HANA Cloud, Adobe Forms, and SAP Build. 
And also we developed some workflow and ILPA for process automation. And we utilize SAP Cloud Integration Suite a lot to support our business processes and now verifying event mesh ongoing. And also some system operation and security services are also activated, such as alert notification, application logging, and API management. The really good point of SAP BTP is you can launch as many sub accounts as needed, even under ongoing project in transition. And also, it is easy to get started from a wide range of services and to make it from just for one at all. As introduced, uh, Hitachi Hitech tried to reduce the total number of add-ons itself, but BTP could realize to develop, for example, only two workflow processes, just three LPA robots, etc. You don't need to set up own servers and install the software for it. Many services are offered in one package. This is also the innovative point on BTP. Then, now SAP BTP is the core architecture of our DX project, besides two-tier ELPs, SAP S4 HANA Cloud Public and Private. Finally, 9,000 add-ons have been reduced to less than 1,000 at this moment, and also in-app add-on in S4 HANA is just 22 for now. Here, uh, let me introduce the effect of side-by-side -side development. Along with reducing in-app add-on, it made increasing upgrade cycle of our s hana private edition. Previously in ECC, version up project was held every five years and it took over a year. But now we could upgrade s hana private once a year since 2019 and it takes only about a month from verification in development test system to switch in production. We can keep our s hana core the latest always. This is the lessons I learned. Results and benefits of side-by-side -side development of us. First, keep Esohana core clean. As mentioned just before, it makes dramatic reduction of Esohana upgrade effort. And second, it enables us to separate SAP BTP and Esohana lifecycle. We can run new development on B SAP BTP without depending on Esohana situation. And also, it is easy to try new services with small start. And third, it enables us uh, sharing add-ons between s Cloud, private and public. And also, phased approach can be achieved among cloud, on-prem, legacy and new systems with flexible linkage, even in the DX transition period. It was good choice to launch development environment outside of s these are the future improvement point for us. First, we would like to continue regular upgrades, at least annual, and also we need to understand and utilize new features provided by each s hana upgrades in a timely manner. Second, SAP BTP is a development environment which can do anything, but it is still difficult for us to deal with it by only self-study, actually, even there are so many self-learning contents provided by SAP. So we need to get learned about business technology platform more and more. And also we expect SAP to extend and provide standard templates or predefined contents continuously, including with standard CDS and APIs in s hana as well. And third, we need to optimize our cloud operations and management across s hana private, public, and SAP BTP, such as monitoring, log management, CI-CD perspective, and performance tuning. The next step, why we stick to keep SAP s hana core clean and adopt side-by-side -side development approach on BTP is, needless to say, we would like to obtain new technologies from them. Especially on SAP BTP, new services have been launched constantly and now we get started to utilize SAP build services to make our process automated and also build up fast and boost productivity. We are just feeling that it is easy to expand the capabilities of our methods of side-by-side -side developments to these new services. And also we really expect 
and can't wait some new services based on business AI functionality in your future. So then uh, we would like to pursue toward real digital adoption, real digital culture, and real data-driven management in Hitachi High Tech. This is the end of my presentation. We highly appreciate all of your support from SAP team and also the partners involved to our DX project. Thank you very much for your attention.